And we are back with our daily Bible readings in accordance with our daily Bible reading calendar. My name is Alan Todd Boyd Jr. Today we're conducting our reading for August 4th. I'd like to say happy birthday to uh, my Aunt Teeny and to Jean Lay. Uh, our morning readings will be Psalms 66 and 67. Our evening reading will be Romans chapter 7. So, let's go ahead and get started with Psalms 66. Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say unto God, How terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name, Selah. Come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. He ruleth by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Selah. Oh, bless our God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, which holdeth our soul in life and suffereth not our feet to be moved. For thou, O God, hast proved us, thou hast tried us, as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net, thou laidest affliction upon our loins, thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. I will go into thy house with burnt offerings, I will pay thee my vows which my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer unto thee burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats. Selah. Come and hear all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he hath done for my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But verily God hath heard me. He hath attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, which hath not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. The word of the Lord. 